Hi there, I'm Nate Brandstater, president of Kettering College. Sorry if it sounds like I'm in a fallout shelter or a bunker somewhere, but I'm here today to bring you an update about Kettering College's plans for fall. Now, we haven't yet received definitive guidance from the Ohio Department of Health and from the state of Ohio, but we are already making plans and establishing priorities for how we will conduct our business in the fall semester. And I want to share a couple of high level ideas with you as we continue to refine those plans. Now, first of all, I want you to know that Kettering College is not making any major changes to our academic calendar this fall. We'll still start on the same date and end on the same date that we have previously published. It's on our website, it's in our academic bulletin. Uh, we are going to try to uh, manage the dynamics of our class offerings so that we minimize the need for students to come back to campus to take classes after Thanksgiving break. Um, but uh, more on that in just a moment. First, now, I want to share with you the overarching priorities that have gone into and are continuing to factor into our planning for the fall. The overarching goal of our work at Kettering College this fall and every semester is to pursue our mission and to achieve student success through the education, training, and clinical activities that we provide every day at the college. Our mission to educate students to make service a life calling and to view health as harmony with God and body, mind, and spirit. So what are our overarching priorities for this fall? First, of course, is to pr protect and preserve the health and safety of our faculty, staff, and students. We also want to provide the highest quality academic experience for our students that we possibly can. We want to make sure that we're providing high levels of faculty and student engagement and high levels of faculty and student satisfaction with the experience that, that we're going to enjoy this fall. Um, we want to provide a sustainable operation and we also want to make sure that our design, our approach, is a proactive one. We were all caught flat-footed in March of this past year by coronavirus. Our design for fall is going to enable us, if required, to move our face-to-face -face activities into an online environment. But that's not where we're going to begin. You know that healthcare education requires hands-on, face-to-face, in-person training, both in our clinical lab spaces and in the hospitals and clinics that we partner with all the time. Now, our in-person lecture activities, we're not going to push everything online, but we are going to reduce the frequency of our in-person lecture classes. So for example, if you have a class that meets twice a week, Monday and Wednesday, we might reduce the number of class meetings for that class to just meeting on Mondays or just meeting on Wednesdays. Of course, we will deliver all of our in-person experiences, our lectures and our labs in accordance with Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the Ohio Department of Health, Kettering Health Network and Kettering College guidelines. Uh, and, and some of those are going to change between now and the start of the fall semester. We're going to have to be flexible and fluid as we make plans and implement those plans for fall. Uh, again, our plan right now is to absolutely minimize the number of lecture activities that we sustain after our Thanksgiving break. We know that some programs are still going to need to meet students face-to-face -face for clinical labs, for simulation in person, and for clinical training activities. Those are going to continue per the direction of our academic programs. The key decision makers 
to ensure the safety of our academic activities this fall and the experience, the academic quality of the face-to-face, -face, the online, and the hands-on training that we provide are going to be the faculty and the leadership in our academic programs. So please stay in touch with your faculty and your program leadership for specific guidance on how your schedule and how the format of the activities, your lectures, your clinical labs, and your hands-on clinical training activities are going to take place. It is so important for us through our teaching, our learning, our mentoring, our hands-on training, to build a community that's going to ensure that our students really are educated to make service a life calling and that our students are going to be extraordinarily well prepared to be successful, effective healthcare professionals. We need that interpersonal connection uh, and experience in order to make that happen. But we also need to balance that with the regard for the health and safety of our faculty, our staff, our students, our clinical colleagues, and the patients and visitors that are in our facilities every day. I know that together we are going to create an amazing experience for our students this fall. We can't wait to welcome you back into our classrooms, into our clinical settings, into our simulation labs, and into our hospitals. On behalf of the entire community at Kettering College, we look forward to working with you this fall.